Central Reserve Police Force is one of the central armed police forces of the country, which has been given the duties of internal security as well as carrying out some high profile counter terrorism, counter insurgency, and uh, counter Naxalism operations. Of late, the CRPF has carried out some of the Naxal commanders and as well as carrying, carrying out some very sensitive operations in both the counter terrorism and counter Naxalism front. Now, when we speak about the CRPF, the CRPF uh, also has a very important role in guarding the country as well as ensuring internal security. And technology is one of the parts, one of the components of the same, and that, that has been helping the force in many ways. So today, we are going to talk to two officers from the CRPF, uh, IG Vijay Kumar and Assistant Commandant Avinash, who is going to talk to us about the advancement of technology, the use of technology in the CRPF, some apps that CRPF specially designed uh, uh, within the force, and how those apps are helping the personnel and the larger interest of guarding the nation. Welcome to this conversation, sir. Thank you. Sir, we would like to start with you. Uh, tell us about uh, an app that was designed by the CRPF and it also won of the Fiki Smart Policing Award, uh, the Sambhav app. Yes. So uh, tell us how does that app, what is this app about? Uh, this app was uh, developed during COVID period when we thought something to have when the world was so much disconnected, to have something, a digital platform which connects our administrative setup with the, each and every Jawan posted in the remotest part of the country to give him a digital platform to see his day to day. So many things, administrative, his profile, his salary, even apply for leave. So we thought that a digital platform will make us uh, more uh, nearer to each and uh, everybody. And uh, that was the period when communication was a problem. So we thought uh, developing an app and it was uh, started in early uh, 2020. Then it was uh, rolled out in July 2020. And last year, we have made so many additions thereafter. Okay. Last year it was recognized by Fiki as mm -hmm. one of the best mobile apps. One of the best least. mobile apps. Yes. So um, uh, tell us, uh, you said that this was launched in July earlier and the the the, uh, the time was about the post covid time and the mm -hmm. covid time so uh, is this app uh, only limited to interacting with the people How it, i am sure it has much more benefits so much more about. much more i can uh, very proudly say you won't find any such parallel app not yeah. within police service uh, any police organization on any other organization okay i can connect with my batchmate i can see my profile i can apply for change in my profile i can apply for leave as a commander, I can sanction leave to, to people. Okay. I can see my annual medical report, okay. annual confidential report. I can see my salary. I can see my composite salary. Okay. I can see my income tax assessment. Adios. These are where are my bills are. If I visit some place, I submit my two TADA claim. Okay. Where the claim is? Okay. Is it has it reached the PO or not? Has it been returned by PO? Each and every aspect, almost exactly. everything okay. it covers. So basically, this is more of a more of a powerhouse of information that an officer is carrying on his phone, basically, yeah. and that has been helping uh, you getting the information with just a click and uh, getting all your uh, official work done. Right. So, um, Avinash, uh, please tell us about how it is helping the personnel in the CRPF. For, uh, when they actually need the help, is it making their work faster, easier? See, no. sir, uh, as sir already said, we have various kind of services in this particular app. Uh, so the, the need for the app arises due to because earlier uh, demands were dependent on the paper processes basically. Even to get a simple uh, pay, pay slip, he has to go through many clerical processes and finally he would end up with, yes. you know, what they is into the paper. Now, uh, there was a gap between uh, these administrative systems and also the demands in the field actually, okay. who are working in the toughest uh, terrains and the remotest parts. Now, this app has enabled, with a single click, he will be able to access such kind of information. It was very difficult previously with our existing system, that is paper and manual based systems. That is how it is being helped and it's like, as sir already said, we have like multi salary ship which are available online. Mm -hmm. with, with a single click, you can watch it. He can view his personal information. Mm -hmm. He can view his uh, past, his performance appraisals. Yeah. He can view. He can also apply for leave in this in this particular app. 
Okay. And the lead can also get processed. Then like it was a it was a very tedious task. Tedious, tedious administrative. That's how it is. It has become very approachable, reachable to the demands. Mm -hmm. And it has bridged that gap between you know what the other organization, yeah, the administrative processes and the demands especially. Okay. And uh, it has been uh, received very well by the demands and. Uh, what four lads have enrolled uh, okay. in this, and they are constantly applying on leave. And on the chief, I have to give you a statistics. Mm -hmm. Around 98 percent, 98 to 99 percent of leaves are processed in this app. Okay, okay. That and for, a, the and yeah. for a government organization, this for is government. something magical. Yeah. He applies for leave. Yeah. It comes to me uh -huh. within a second, uh -huh. and just sitting together, I may sanction his leave. He may apply, I may sanction. This is something not hard in government organization. Okay. okay, this is the first. Yes. And uh, relatives, the NOKs, nest okay. of kins, okay. they are also connected. They have okay. also, yes. Okay. And uh, what? how does that help them that for the next of kin? You can tell them. See, all the kind of, you know, what uh, the post uh, retirement services Benefit. for the veterans and also if there are NOKs, uh, they will be, they'll be actually able to access the, the all the kind of welfare benefits which CRP have proposed to them and they, they can view them in their mobile phone. We, this this uh, benefit is available to them. It is easier for them to, you know, approach the system and stay okay. connected with the organization even okay. after, you know, what uh, the death of the certain personnel. Okay. That's how we are able to cater for the family members also okay. of, and also the next of kings and also the veterans who have retired. Retired. It, it is very beneficial for them also in this way. They stay connected with the force. That's a, that it, it has a feel of connect with the force. Correct. But beyond the, the sum of app, there may, there may be much, many other uh, things that you must have thought of and introduced. Uh, can you tell us how uh, the CRPF has been using uh, the technology in the force? See, we were the first among CRPFs to enroll an ERP. Okay. Our ERP, that is called Shello, it was rolled out in way back 2003. Mm -hmm. Our ERP is, say, almost 23, 4 years old. Mm -hmm. And we have been adding much more, many more modules since the beginning it has PIS accounts and each and everything what we require. We have been updating this. Apart from this, we have recently introduced the PPMS, Paperless Process Management, each and every order. Mm -hmm. Each, I say each and every order issue. Okay. It is done through a system only mm -hmm. and automatically the, our, the ERP. Okay gets connected to that, it has that information. Nobody feeds today anything to the system. Okay. Then we have a paperless that e-bill system. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't send my bill physically to my pay and account office. Okay. I send it digitally, mm -hmm. signed it digitally, mm -hmm. and it comes to my account. Okay. These are the very great initiatives. And in fact, connecting our ERP with PPMS. Okay. We are the first organization in the country to do that. With the PPM? Yes. Okay. okay. So, um, as said, uh, when it comes to certain, uh, you know, the advancement of technology that has happened recently, mm -hmm. uh, where, you know, forces, the police forces, the paramilitary forces are using uh, many other modes, the artificial intelligence is just one example, small mm -hmm. example of it. So, how do you foresee the future? Yes, we have an AIBI platform. We have recently procured it and uh, our end branch is working on that. Uh, I don't think I should uh, give you more details on that. But yes, we are using artificial intelligence as a tool. And apart from that, you said uh, you asked about the new technology. We have drones. Mm -hmm. Looking for anti-drones. We don't have on date, but we use drone a lot. We have a lot many of drones. Okay. And uh, when it comes to uh, drones, it's just a sub question to it that there is always a menace of drones that people. Yeah. Uh, normally talk about mm -hmm. in the border areas in the in the areas which, which are you know dominated by terrorism or uh, other forces so when it comes to countering the drones mm -hmm. uh, there is again a technology that actually works so how uh, well are the uh, ah, no, no, no. on date we don't uh, have any anti drone platform with us what we are looking for and we are under process of acquiring it the anti drone uh, yes technology okay and uh, something that you would like to tell us sir that you are a senior officer who has uh, been uh, 
with the CRPF since 19 uh, since the 90s actually. Yeah. So uh, how have you seen the force growing when it comes to technology? How have you seen? Uh, it has grown leaps and bound. We had our manual payslips account under the manual transfer. We uh, we used to get money, withdraw money from banks. Mm. Take it to our headquarters. Then it was used to be manually distributed. We used to visit our platoons or section level posts mm. and distribute them, their, their salary. Okay. From there, on date, we have drones and we have uh, satellite phones and we have whatnot. Mm. The leaps and bounds, it has been uh, quite a change. Yeah, would you like uh, to add something? I, yes, definitely. Even I used to listen to our user where uh, I used to, when he was uh, in the initial stage of uh, his career. Sir, he used to distribute uh, the uh, the amount, the money to the in, uh, the, to the Javans personally. That was a, one of the important tasks of uh, the <laughs> Amerika mother at that time. Okay. So I was fascinated actually because we joined the... As in salary in, in, yeah. in cash? In yeah. cash, in cash. They mm -hmm. used to hand it over to the individuals and that was a very, you know, what happy day for the, all the Javans mm -hmm. because they used to receive that money. Mm -hmm. And from that, it was a manual based system. And now from that, and we have evolved into every month, uh, by the second week or third week, we'll be getting the payslips automatically in the summer and that money will be getting their back accounts. So that's okay. a huge leap from... Uh, what it was there and what it has Physical to notes to digital bills. bills. Yeah. Now, not even we are not sending the bills physically. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is a quite a job. And also, ma'am, uh, like initially, uh, individuals uh, are entitled for certain uh, certain bills such as uh, 2TA, LPCs and all. So, claiming that process, it would, used to take at least two to three months mm -hmm. of uh, time actually mm -hmm. for the fund to get credited into individual bank account. But with the advent of Evil, yes. which has been uh, launched recently, Jamans can expect their bill amount to be credited in their in their account within one month. Okay. And we have time to bring it down to much, much, much uh, within two weeks or much lower than that. Right. So, working towards it. Right. I would also like to ask you. Uh, when it comes to the people, uh, the, the general public uh, that has that has been uh, you know, that you are securing, so uh, how is how does the technology that CRPF has adapted uh, to secure the public when it comes to some high profile events, elections, Amarnath Yatra, which is going to start uh, day after tomorrow? So can you tell us in brief about that? Apart from normal drills, yes, we are using latest technology, whatever is available with us that is using satellite trackers, using drones, using AIBI tools for recognizing people. Yes. And... Uh, Facial recognition uh, and much more. Uh, yes, yes, we are also trying to adopt that. And apart from that, as I told, uh, scanning the area mm -hmm. through LIDAR technology. Mm -hmm. Uh, we order. also have uh, these drone technologies also, which, mm -hmm. is, which are being used to survey the area and also to map the complete area so that it can be used for the intelligence purpose. Okay. Uh, and also, you know what uh, we are doing analysis of the particular images based on sir, uh, based on the images which we have got using the drones. Yes. And also we can uh, we have the in tools which we are using it for the sentiment analysis also basically okay. for okay. the mood of the public in that particular area. Yes. yes. And uh, how 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 it is in the newspapers also we are used to we are we also track that uh, based on the tools which we have uh, for Yes. Because uh, as we know, CRPF has played a pivotal role when Article 370 was, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, yeah, was collaborated in uh, JN JNK, then uh, the, some very uh, sensitive elections, say, uh, some certain um, incidents in uh, national affected areas like Chhattisgarh and Lagdui affected areas, Chhattisgarh, Telangana and border, border states. So uh, I'm sure the technology is helping you in uh, the high profile operations also that you have been carrying out. And mainly uh, to actually identify uh, the sensitive areas as well as carry out the operations which uh, in turn basically secure the people. But I want to give you a different perspective over regarding that. Uh, in the Article 370, you know, there was complete black down. There was a complete network was down in the uh, JNK, the whole of JNK. Yes. At the time, only we were using our technology, the satellite trackers, satellite phones, which we have to communicate to the outer world. And also, we were using our B STDS technologies, that is HF okay. communication and VHF communications, okay. uh, which was a standard basically for all the signal units. We have, we have that has come into force. 
we are using data communication also using that so it's not only the latest technology which we are using, which we are using we are also using the old technology which was used in the world war time the world war 2 time so we have used that okay. so that's how it a is that we are mix using of a mix of new technology new and old versus so old this technology does play a very key role yes, in yes, both the peace time and the war time ah, yes <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, with this, we would like to end this conversation. And thank you so much for talking to us, sir. With this, we would like to end our conversation. And uh, thank you for enlightening us on all the uh, technology uh, that the CIPS is using in securing the people of this country. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.